Pete. The first week of May marks National Hurricane Preparedness Week. And although Hawaii is known for its tropical trade wind weather, conditions could change for the worse. That's why officials are reminding everyone that it's imperative to have a plan in place, supplies stocked, and know your evacuation routes. Dr. Rick Nab with the National Weather Channel emphasizes that because of Hawaii's unique weather and land structure, it doesn't always take a hurricane to do damage. And because the islands are so isolated, recovery could be delayed. The presence of the mountainous terrain, and when you get any kind of low pressure system nearby, it erodes that trade wind inversion, and then you can really get the heavy rains, especially in uh, the mountainous areas. Then if you do get flooding or you get wind damage or any kind of large scale impacts, the isolation of the state from any other land areas from which help might come means that you know you have a couple weeks of supplies on the island you know a lot of people you, you can be self-sustaining for a while but in a large-scale event help would need to come from outside hawaii's hurricane season runs from june 1st to november 30th